Hey guys, Sunny here with Masterstay.com and welcome to part one of how to speed up your PC. Today I'm going to be talking about the basics and without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is mess around with the MS configuration department. That is Microsoft Configuration Utility, which allows you to control a lot of the aspects such as startup services, programs, and the boutons. So without further ado, let's um, go check that out. First thing we, the first thing we're going to do is go to our start button or start menu and then on your right hand side click on run. If you don't see this button, go ahead into the search menu and type in RUN. Bring up this menu, click on the first one, first result and it will show up as in a little box. And in the little box you will find a typing zone where you're going to put msconfig that is msconfig. After you type that in, click OK and this other box should pop up. Go to the boot tab. In the time out section, change to whatever number, likely 30 to 3. This will change, if you're dual booting between systems, a faster change in system booting. Now go to advanced options. Check number of processors and change whatever number is the highest. In my case, it's 2 since I'm a dual core processor. Next, go ahead and click on services and also check this button down here that says hide all Microsoft services. After clicking on that, we are able to uncheck everything here safely. Um, do keep the ones that you would like. These are just the uh, programs such as my iPod service without it. When I plug in my iPod, it's not going to be recognized by iTunes. So I want to keep that on. Uncheck that button and there's going to be a list in the video description that tells you um, which Microsoft services are safely you're safely able to uncheck. So check that out and then uncheck the ones that you see in the list. Next thing, uh, we're going to go to the Start Up tab and uncheck pretty much everything here except the ones that you really want such as my setpoint software for my mouse and my rocket dock which is this dock down here. So after doing all that great stuff, we're going to click on Apply and OK. Uh, exit without restart. We're going to click on that. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is disable the user account control. So what we're going to do is go to our Start menu, go to our Control Panel, and we're going to do a bunch of stuff in our Control Panel. And I'm just going to change it to my other view. And on the search bar up top, we're going to type in UAC. And we're going to click on change user control settings, account settings. And we're going to say either second space up or none. So just do whatever you think is proper. But in my opinion, uh, I don't need to be notified. So I put it on never notify. Then click OK. And you should be set. Other options in the control panel, we are going to go into my power settings. So we're on the search bar once again, type in P power. P-O-W-E-R and we're just going to click on the green text this is power options okay and now we're going to select high performance changing the power setting to high performance and that's pretty much it we're also gonna if you want to clean up some hard drive space or whatnot you want to you know right click on your recycling bin and click on empty recycling bin and that's just going to permanently delete all of your unwanted files Next thing we're going to do is fix hard drive sectors. This will greatly increase your hard drive speed if you do have sectors in your hard drive. So to do that, we're just going to go to our control panel, go to my computer or computer on your right, and right click on your primary hard drive, hard drive C. Right click and go to properties. After going to properties, we're going to go to tool and there is an option here called air checking and in the description this will this option will check the hard drive for errors and you want to do that so we're going to click check now and this box should pop up now you want to check both automatic fix system errors and recover bad sectors and then we're going to click start and now this pop up will pop up and it System checks must be done while your computer is booting up. So the next time you restart your computer, it's going to have a blue screen. And it's not the blue screen of death. It's a blue screen called system check. And it's going to run through some diagnostics. Don't be worried. It's totally OK. And you can cancel it at any time. So I am going to schedule this disk check. 
Okay, and then just close everything. So the next time your PC restarts, it's gonna perform the disk check. So don't be afraid if like a black menu or blue menu pops up. It's totally normal. Okay, next you want to make sure that your computer is up to date. That is very important. It gives you all the latest drivers and could drastically speed up your computer, such as service packs. So once again, go to your control panel. And on the top, just type in update. And then click check for update. Okay, after click on that, I have no important updates right now. So that means I am currently, well, ready. So I'm going to close that. We're all good on that. So the next thing that we're going to check out is something called CCleaner. I'm pretty sure all of you guys already heard of that. But to download this, just go to masterscreen.com. I'm going to have a link in the video description. After going to masterscreen.com, click on downloads on the top left hand corner. Scroll down a little bit until you see great PC programs and this site gives you a lot of cool applications um, that you might want to look into. And we're going to just scroll down until you see Crap Cleaner. That's what it stands for. It's this big giant C with a little paintbrush inside. Click on the icon or the downloads button. It'll bring you to a download page where it should begin automatically. You can click on run and start your installation from there. Totally safe. And what Crap Cleaner or C Cleaner can do is, let me just find it on my computer. Right there. C Cleaner is able to free hard drive space from unwanted data, such as cookies, histories, and all that great stuff. It can all free space, which is using, you know, using your hard drive. So here it is and just scanning for some stuff that it can get rid of and it has shown me all this stuff that it's taking up space on the hard drive and right up on top it says there are three gigabytes to be removed and I'm just gonna say run cleaner and it's gonna remove those data and these data is not gonna affect your computer and um, it's gonna affect your performance by increasing it but it's not gonna affect your daily web browsing sure it's deleting cookies but usually people don't need that much cookies especially if it's three gigs next go to the registry button and we're also gonna scan for issues um, in your registry uh, likely you guys might have issues and to repair them this thing does it all so you get the point, Let's just scan it, and after scanning it, just fix all issues. But you do like to likely will make a backup of your registry if something goes wrong. So just click on yes, save it into a location that you don't usually go to, and just save it there. All good. Okay, the last thing that, pretty much the last thing that I'm going to talk about today is messing around with the registry. So we're going to go to run again. So just got to start menu run, or type it in at the bottom. And we're going to type in reg edit, reg edit, reg edit, no capitals, no spaces, R E G edit, no spaces once again, and click OK. Okay, so this box will pop up, and this is your registry editor. And what we're going to do is go to current H key current user, I'll expand that. We're going to go to control panel, we're going to go to Actually, we're just going to click on desktop. Don't open up the folders. Just click on the desktop folder. And it will bring you a whole list of stuff. We are going to push M. And it will go to our menu show delay. Um, well, I'm not sure what you call these files. But reg uh, registry files. And we're going to double click on that. And we're going to set this to zero. Just going to speed up your menu time. And should just see a little more performance out of it. So as you know on the desktop you right click it's gonna be very fast and responsive when you have that option on. So um, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, that's basics, very basic. You can also do some you know disk defragmentation. To do that just go to your uh, all programs, go to accessories and then go to system tools and we got a couple of options here like disk cleanup, disk you know keeper um, this is actually something I installed and you also want to do a disk defrag that's just gonna you know close up any bad spaces between files just to speed up um, the disk performance and also disk cleanup will clean up your disk giving you freer hard drive space 
and that's pretty much it from the basics. Well, that's the end of part one. If you guys have any questions or comments, email me sunny at masterstanding.com. Visit my website, masterstanding.com. Add me on my MSM, masterstanding at hotmail.com for live help and support. Thanks for watching, you guys, and have a great day.